question is, how did I turn around six grand into a business that's generated over two million pounds 12 months later? So my name's Louis Cook. I'm a 27 year old dad of two, soon to be three early next year. Just found out that we're having a baby boy, which is super exciting. I've been building brands for the last 12, 13 years, and I've been working for myself for around the last seven or eight years. Now, don't get me wrong. Not every business, not every attempt has gone smoothly. I've had a few failures along the way. And because of that, I've developed a super strong skill set and a mindset that is unbreakable. So I started making content on Instagram around four years or so ago. Started to post my day-to-day -day life, some business insider information, and also started really capturing the, the story of what I'm building, why I'm building it, and I built a really cool community of following off the back of that too. A few years ago, I was on YouTube quite heavily as I was following some different goals at the time. However, I've recently jumped back on and I'm back on the YouTube grind, capturing the entire story, capturing all the background stuff, and really keeping everyone up to date with the brand that I'm building. And if you're following me, you will know that I've got a business that is booming at the moment, a brand that is in really high growth stages where we're throwing ourselves into a really busy market and we're pushing as hard as we can to scale, which has gone tremendously well this year so far. It very much still feels like the beginning, but the beginning has gone super, super smoothly thus far. There's a few bumps in the road, there always will be, but we're getting on really, really well and we're scaling nicely through 2024. And in that period, I've learned so much. I've learned so many new strategies. I've failed on different occasions, but we've used those as lessons and that's pushing and spurring the team on further. And I've managed to scale this brand from what was around a £6,000 investment of stock initially to a brand that is turning over that every single day as a minimum. So what I thought I'd do is put a little video together where I give you some complete concrete tips and tricks that has taken me from a six grand investment to a business that has turned over over £2 million this year. The kids are playing, the kids are enjoying themselves, so I thought I'd pick up the camera, give you guys a bit of value, kind of give you a bit more insight on the little intricacies that have really helped me pull this brand together and make the most out of my investment. Meaning that you can apply it to your own brand, you can double down, you can build something that you're proud of, and you can also put yourself in the situation that you dream of. One of the main problems I see within brand owners and business owners are people are not happy reinvesting their cash. They all wanna pull it out, they wanna spend it all, and I get it, rightfully so, you wanna spend your hard earned money. I completely get it. But listen, the longer you keep that money in the business, the more you reinvest into stock, into ads, into growth, into working with agencies, there are many, many things you can invest that cash into, which will get a positive ROI, as opposed to pulling it out, spending it on nice dinners, spending it on a nice car, all that shit that you and me both wanna do, leave it in there, trust me, let it compound, let it reinvest into your business, and let that growth show. Another thing I don't see being utilized enough is the ability to see exactly what other competitors in your industry and niche are doing. We can literally go on Facebook Ads Library. There are so many tools that we can utilize to see exactly what people are doing to turn a profit in their own business in the same niche and industry as you. That was a major, major plus for us. I spent a lot of time really looking at the market. What are people selling? How much money are they making on it? How are the reviews looking for their products? What creatives are they using? What angles are they using? What offerings are they using? The ability to see all of this information means that we can use their money that they're testing on advertising to our benefit, meaning we can use as much money as possible on our side on stuff I know is already working. Look at what's working on the market. Facebook Ads Library is a perfect example and double down on proven winning concepts straight from the bat. Another thing that is a super simple mindset shift that can have a massive impact in your business and everyone should be doing, but unfortunately they don't. People get too caught up in the numbers, too caught up in what's possible on a profit basis. They don't focus on this one key point, which is building a brand that you'd want to represent. Building a brand that as a consumer, you'd be obsessed with. If you're in a market, especially if you're in a market that you'd buy from yourself and you're not thinking, what would I buy? Why would I buy into it? Why would I want to promote or represent this brand? You've got to think as a business and brand owner about how to build a brand that you'd actually want to promote yourself. Because if you can get that nailed, if you can get your brand in a position where people will openly promote you and would love to promote you, not only have we got UGC straight off the bat, but we've got free revenue as well. It's super easy to put a few things in place to make that happen. It's mainly content and social proof, but build a brand that you'd like to promote. It will be a game changer. And of course, we're all doing this for the revenue, right? We're doing this to make money. Like we love online businesses. We love building the brands. We love everything that comes with it, but revenue and profit, they're the kind of key motivations for most people, including myself for a lot of the time. However, 
if we can reframe our motivations, if we can really look past that revenue and profit point and start looking on a brand perspective of what you're trying to build and why, that motivation and that clarity for yourself is gonna help you build a higher quality brand. It will mean that the community around it is stronger, the content is cooler, and naturally, based off the back of those two things, you're going to have a cooler brand too. And a cooler brand will produce you more cash. And above all else, I could tell you every tip and trick in the book, but it comes down to how bad you really want it. Like, do you really want to build a brand that will take up and consume all of your life, all of your time, all of your spare thought, Every minute of every day, I am thinking about business. I am thinking, how can I develop what I'm trying to develop? How can I put in place what I'm trying to put in place? And how can I be unique? Like, that's my every minute thought of the day. And I don't see that as a negative because I fucking love business. I love building. I love designing. I love creating. And I love being stuck into it. I've got kids to feed. I've got a mortgage to pay. Don't get me wrong. The money motivates me. But it's the feeling and the passion I get from building a brand that keeps me as busy as I am because I don't need to be as busy up here with business as I am, but I fucking love the game. And the question is, do you? Like, do you really love it? Do you really want to be as involved as you have to be to make something happen? Don't get me wrong. You can get online, you can build a brand and you can make a few grand a month. But if you want to build a big, big business and a big brand that creates a lot of revenue, creates jobs and hires other people, it will consume you. So the big question is, are you ready to be consumed by e-com? Are you ready to build a brand that is your entire life? If you are and you can be motivated and inspired by that, I do not recommend another business more. You will learn so many different skills. You will inspire yourself and others so much with what you're creating. And you will get a load of really happy customers that are there to support, cheer, and help you build something mega too. There's no business model like it. It's the best thing in the world. So just a short snappy video for today. I haven't been online on YouTube for a few days and the last video did super, super well. So I wanted to come on and drop you some little nuggets. If you did find any value in this, if you delved a little bit deeper into what I said and took some value that you're going to implant into your own business and idea, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, make sure you're subscribed. And if there is anything you wanna see in particular, drop it in the comment section as well. We're going for a big meeting tomorrow with one of our suppliers up north so I might pick up the camera and vlog that for you as well. As always, thanks for the support and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.